I feel very, very comfortable saying that it filled all of our needs. I think when, if I rewind myself to when I was a position coach, you always want more. So I think if you pulled the assistant coaches, you would find that they all want more, and that's just the, the nature of the job. But I feel very good that we filled all the needs that, that I set out before we got into this class. But what, I, what I'm most excited about is I feel like we have a bigger, faster team going forward because of this recruiting class. Our first player on the list alphabetically is a Nick Archdiakno, the younger brother of Brandon, who signed with us last year. Now, when you watch Nick's film, what you see is, is a kind of a hybrid tight end, H-back type of guy. He plays on the line. He's strong. He's tough. He plays on defense, but he's also somebody who can play in the backfield and, and does a good job catching the ball out of the backfield. Another player from Archbishop Wood uh, in Pennsylvania, you know, the third player from that program to come here in the last two years, and, and, and certainly a winning program. Dante Ayers, who is already enrolled from Maryland, Wicomico High School, the home of Wayne Warren. A big, physical, thick running back, uh, somebody that had sat out his senior year uh, because of an injury, but is 100% uh, right now, and somebody that we fully expect to compete this spring <coughs> at a position where, you know, we have a starter in Savon Huggins, but behind him, we really don't have a, a proven running back. We have some talented players and, and people we feel really good about, but Dante Ayers is going to come in and, and immediately have a, an opportunity to compete this spring which I think is going to be a positive for everybody. Uh, Nadir Barnwell, one of the more dynamic players in our state, right here at Piscataway High School, uh, another player from Coach Higgins' program uh, that we really feel is going to go on and do some exceptional things. Somebody at his high school who did a little bit of everything, from quarterback to special teams to set to the secondary, and we feel somebody who can come in here and uh, help us immediately in the, in the secondary, and he's going to have an opportunity to do that now, he did have uh, a shoulder surgery after the season ended this year that will allow him to participate in spring, but in a non-contact fashion. So uh, he will do a lot of <coughs> excellent learning and uh, really get acclimated to the types of drills we do here, but the contact portion he will not get uh, until the fall, and that's when he will really get an opportunity to compete. Uh, Devin Carter from Rochester, New York, is a, a, a big running back and a, a one-back a type of running back and somebody we think that certainly is, is talented and a threat when he has the ball in his hands, but also somebody who we think can evolve and do some of the things at the fullback position uh, that we need behind Michael Burton. And as I've said, that the depth at that position is a concern for me and you know somebody that we needed to add somebody to the list here on signing day that I thought could help us and strengthen that position and getting Devin from Brighton High School up there in Rochester is going to do that for us. Anthony Choppy from Dayton High School, Springfield, New Jersey, is uh, somebody who, again, is going to have an opportunity, albeit it won't start until the summer, to come in here and compete and to play corner for us. Uh, Anthony's an exceptional athlete, uh, extremely fast, documented 100-meter times are, are, are very impressive. Uh, but I also got a chance this fall to see Anthony play basketball, and, and he's an excellent all-around athlete and, and an elite competitor, and we're really excited to have him here with us. Justin Goodwin from Madison, New Jersey, one of the top running backs in our state, an all-state running back, you know, has led his team to two undefeated state championship seasons the last two years, and uh, because the school maybe is a, a little bit of a smaller school, I don't know how how well known he is outside of New Jersey, but I think the people that have had to compete against him can tell you he's, he's extremely elusive, a very natural runner, a little bit of a slasher when you watch him on tape. And, and again, somebody who, when he gets here in the summer and into fall training camp, is going to have an opportunity to compete, to, to be in the depth at running back. Janarian Grant from Pascal, Florida, is an electric special teams player on film, but that's not where his, his skill set stops. Uh, he's five foot ten. He plays wide receiver. Uh, he's, he will be a threat to make a big play every time he touches the ball. Uh, he is the player of the year in his area down there. And, and somebody that I think can immediately have an impact for us on special teams. And I, he, may have, he may have a chance to have an impact for us at the receiver position, but a very talented young man and exceptional with the ball in his hands. Brian Gross Armiento is uh, from American Heritage High School down in Florida. 
and uh, he is another player in the secondary that is going to have an opportunity to compete. And when I say compete, you know, on a team where we have four of our five top players in the secondary moving on, whether it's graduation or leaving early for the draft, there is, a, there is going to be competition at that position from now until we start the season, really to find out who are going to be the, the corners who are going to start, who are, who's going to be the other safety to line up next to Zoe, and then who are going to be the other players that are going to play in the sub packages. So when we talk about players like Nadir, Anthony Chaffee, and, and now Bryant, these are guys that are really going to have a, a special opportunity to come in here and have an impact right away. Nick Nicola is a defensive end. He goes into our rush category They're from the university school down in Florida, from one of the top programs in that state. And he is an extremely aggressive, physical defensive end, a relentless, relentless defensive player, and really fits the mold of what a Rutgers football defensive player is. And we're excited to get him on the campus this summer. Sebastian Joseph from Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. Is, he plays defensive end you know, on his team, but he is somebody for us who really projects to be a three technique. And, and he's an exciting player, a really exciting player to watch on film. Right now, he's about 265 pounds, and, and we think he's going to be a little bit bigger you know, as he goes through his career. And he will be a, a legitimate pass rusher at that position, and, and hopefully somebody that can continue in the line of Eric Foster, Justin Francis. And hopefully he can give us that ability to rush the passer at that position. Josh Klecko from Red Bank Catholic, certainly a familiar last name to the people in this area, uh, but I think his resume stands on its own. And Josh is an excellent addition to our team, our university, and our defense, and probably somebody who is as perfectly suited to play the nose guard position in our defense as anybody I've seen on high school tape and constantly in the backfield on the game film that we've watched. Uh, a playmaker at the defensive position, not just somebody who, who takes on blocks, but he's able to get off blocks and, and run to the football. Uh, a very high motor guy as well, and somebody we think that is going to have an excellent <coughs> career here. Chris Laviano, the quarterback from, from Long Island, from Holy Trinity High School. I'm uh, very familiar with that league. It's the league that I played in, and because of that, it, it did not take me long to have people from there, whether they're coaches or people who watch the games locally, to tell me we need to recruit this young man. And we started at a very early age. Chris Laviano was a true freshman, led Holy Trinity to the, to the Catholic League Championship game against St. Anthony's. And I don't know that that feat has been repeated since or done before. So it's a, he's a special football player. And I think in every class, it is critical it is criti critical to get a quarterback who you feel can compete and can lead your program. And whether it was Blake Rankin last year, Chris Laviano this year, you know, we've got quarterbacks in our program right now that I feel very comfortable saying that we go into spring are going to create a very competitive environment. You know, we'll compete at every position, but I think at that one, we're going to have a group of players. Chris is enrolled right now. Blake is, is, is with us for a year now. It's going to be an excellent competitive environment as we go into the spring. Lester Liston is the, the one player from the 22 that's a little bit outside the state of Rutgers. You know, from Michigan, a linebacker who, uh, who went to prep school for a semester and now is with us. And a very impressive player on tape, a very physical linebacker, somebody who runs to the ball very well. And I, one of the things I'm most excited about with this recruiting class is I think we were able to continue our tradition of building speed in our defense. And we have not had to sacrifice size to do that. And that's always exciting to me you know, as I look at the class, on as the class on paper. And he is a player who is going to have an opportunity to compete not only for a starting job this spring, but also to be in the rotation to play special teams. His body type should be able to do a lot of things for us in our defense with all of our packages and then certainly on special teams. Uh, Taylor Marini from Lake, uh, from Lake Mary down in Florida. Taylor Marini is a tight end cut in the same mold as, he, as Sam Johnson. He's that type of player. He, he is a strong on the line blocker uh, in his spare time. In the past he has wrestled alligators, which I think you find interesting. I certainly did. And it made for a, a little more interesting home visit when I was down there. 
but excellent hands, runs good routes, but a physical, strong, on-the-line blocker, and somebody I think is, is going to get a little bit bigger when he's here as well. Dorian Miller from a touch in high school, down, just down the road a little bit. Offensive lineman, uh, the last name certainly is familiar with his older brother a couple years ago. Dorian is exactly the type of offensive lineman that we want to recruit here. He is a physical, aggressive, strong, inside player, and somebody that because of where he's at from a strength perspective right now, should be able to come in and help add depth at an early age. Whether or not that will be the first year, that we won't be able to determine until the fall. I think that position is always, always a tough one to play early. We've had a couple, but it's tough. But I think Dorian is somebody, because of his physical attributes, that's going to have that kind of opportunity. And, uh, and we're excited that he's here with us. Miles Nash from Timber Creek, another player from, from Timber Creek, coming to Rutgers. Co uh, Coach Henson does an excellent job down there. And Miles is, is a big athlete and somebody that we think is going to play outside or Sam linebacker here, but also a player who should be able to do a lot of things. He's a good pass rusher. His body type should, be, should make him a good special teams player. And he's, he has done a lot of things at the high school from playing linebacker to playing quarterback. But I think as he goes into college, he'll, he'll finish in that outside linebacker role and, and become an excellent all-around football player for us. Andre Patton from St. Elizabeth down in Delaware, a wide receiver who I think is going to compete at a very early age for playing time. He is a, a, a spectacular athlete. I want to say he's in the top five in, in Delaware high school basketball history in terms of scoring. He's an excellent football player, uh, somebody who he seems to get a little bit bigger every time I see him. And another, uh, another excellent prospect for us from the state of Delaware, you know, where we got the Ron Harmon, where we got the Morrell, the Morrell twins. It's been a it's been a good recruiting area for us, and uh, and he will be the next one in that line. Delon Stevenson, brother of Daryl Stevenson, originally from Sayreville High School, and. Uh, and then up at Milford Prep is somebody who is here with us right now and somebody who is going to have an opportunity to compete at the corner position. And I think that that's critical. I mentioned it with some of the other guys. Uh, we're certainly excited to have another player from Coach Najar's program, David Maluski, Daryl Stevenson, and now Delon Stevenson. And it, it's been excellent to have Delon here for a couple of weeks already and, and just to see how he's grown physically over the last year. And, we can't wait to get out there and, and get to spring practice with him and, and see how much he can do for us and how soon he can do it. T.J. Taylor from South Brunswick High School, home of Mohamed Sanu, home of Javon Tyree, and now another player from there. Coach George is now the, is now the high school coach there. He's a safety. He is a, a long body. He is somebody that is still growing into his body. He's, a, he's an excellent player on high school film. And, and he's one of those guys that, that could be 20 pounds bigger in a year and a half because he's just at the beginning stages, I think, of what his body's going to be.